the main purpose of this video is to do a sound test on my microphone. I want to get a decent audio setup going so I can be audibly heard by anyone, not well, by myself actually. I'm the one having difficulty interpreting the words that I use and also my presentation skills you might call them though I shall make it interesting let's call it in inverted commas quantum mechanics don't fully understand but I don't understand it necessarily I don't understand anything actually I know nothing I understand everything I have to sort of an ambiguity in that statement though go somewhere to explain my position you might call it although I try to use the word position in illustrating the situation one is about to another and they were offended with that term of reference um, I didn't get the chance to ask them why they were shouting too much at me that's how offended they were with that although it wasn't only that it was more my unwillingness to comply with the perspective that led to the shouting I guess so would I know I'm not them I wasn't shouting I was observing the shouting which is the uh, point of the quantum mechanics reference I was watching Darren Diageo in fact I might put the um, presentation in the description box as it goes a long way to explain many of my um, considerations, understandings, experiences though at the end he ruins it by defining let me get a quote here by defining that which we need to face up to and what we are dealing with as evil something that pretends to be good sort of uh, strong a line out to assist many from many perspectives climb out of a pit pits that they have allowed themselves to they haven't fallen in they, they jumped they, they willingly entered them and then right at the end he digs another one for everyone are called evil a thing that pretends something that pretends to be good evil I saw I to get on me uh, in fact in the recent interaction with the uh, antinatalist uh, thing I can't remember the, the interactee they were displaying vulnerability and inability to um, understand and deal with the um, task, the reality, they've given up and we're on the verge of um, accepting coercion as a uh, as a solution even though knowing that co coercion doesn't solve anything and the references that I have that clarify my own understandings are too, I, I can't give them to, I can't I can't utilize them to illustrate to others anything because of the vastness of the um, perspective given the it's about existence and within that everything is there and therefore everything that ever was everything that is and ever will be or could be and so no, here we are, that's where uh, I'm at. I'm existentially aware of the wider existential reality that we exist within and as, and here is my reference point. 
It is everything and every one that ever has been, ever will be, and is. <laughs> find your way out of that one. Find your way into that one to understand what it is you're asking me about, which I can't answer because I can't influence you or even. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a programmer. I'm not a teacher. I'm a human being, I'm a piece of equal life, and I'm an individual member of the collective that is all life existence. Beyond that, I will not define myself, and even those aren't definitions, the terms of reference to illustrate to an observer what it is I am about, um, why asking, anyway. Anyway, so I get on my typewriter, or what is it called, a computer, keyboard now, um, an email to Darren. I've just watched 2012 Control Manipulation Spells All Freedom. An excellent presentation I found useful in assisting in the clarification of a number of perspectives I am considering, agreeing in the main until reaching. Where you define evil as something that pretends to be good, you go on to say, we need to face up to what we are dealing with, defining that as evil. Let me postulate that there is no evil in fact only consequence that we can define if we choose as evil casting as you say a spell upon ourselves that ha has us believing that we can make a change by removing a thing that is in effect non-existent it's a distraction to say that which is unacceptable is evil gives it a name and then so now we're going to look for evil we're not going to note is or not what's unacceptable we're going to look for evil and then define evil as unacceptable when really we just don't need to use the word evil at all in fact the context it was used in was um, in relation to the word satanism which the word satan is uh, adversarial so adversary so Anyone that opposes anything is satanic because they're adversarial to that which they oppose. It's, it's, just, it's a, and, and then all this blame that satanists get for being the elite, permongering, um, illuminati, bloodline, Babylonian, blah blah. It's always Satan's fault, ultimately. Although, I don't you call it a chat by that cat. She's a chat, oh, cat, cat, oh, no, it's a sea, oh, cat. Anyway. Where was I? Then, there is that which is unacceptable, though to choose another word to define it will, in effect, deflect attention. Evil, therefore, is not the problem. Unacceptable acceptances and allowances are. What is acceptable, you might ask? Working from the principle, what's best for all, all life considered, I would respond. What's acceptable? I think basically, I think basically, I don't actually think at all, or when I do, I, I focus on my breathing, four square breath, and there's no thought involved. I, I'm more interested in self-awareness in the moment than considering what I've been, what I might be, or how I'm going to deal with something when I know damn well that I can just deal with it. Because, 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 I don't know why, but because, um, maybe it's because I'm lucky. Because it's again. I've got a lot of work to do on myself as usual. In fact, I've got as much, if not more, to do now than the last time I said that. And the last time I said that, I was already on the way to uh, being fully aware, or on my way to a level of awareness of self that allowed me to understand many things, let's say. So quantum mechanics, Darren, he's got a thing called the People's Public Trust. Google it or search engine it. I don't use Google myself. People's public trust and um, if you're interested, go and have a look. Though he said in a 
they're putting an observer into a situation and the situation changed as in quantum mechanics it's quite interesting that when you put in an observer the situation changes well it's sort of you know if you're in a situation and you're doing something and you believe what you're doing to be correct acceptable an observer comes in and without being judgmental the person with the perspective then has to reconsider the perspective they giving because there's an observer there and they no longer can rely on their own belief in themselves I don't know I'm just testing my microphone aren't I because the interesting thing and the only thing I know about quantum uh, quantum or it's quantum it's a measurement isn't it quant quanta measuring all perhaps I don't know um, is that in some experiments there was quantum particles observed interestingly enough though when they went to measure them they weren't the and that's scientists for you that so there you go scientific proof that all is not as it seems <laughs>